and welcome in the red corner, Little Man. Look, I'm thinking on my past, living on my last. I was so broke, nobody giving me a chance. Felt so washed, sitting on my ass. I see niggas getting on. I'm wishing they were dark, dog. I'm wishing on a star. Vision in my past, I had dreams of getting rich. Winning with my dogs, I had it up to here. Of being what I can't, I hit the trap and I'm looking back. Now I'm living like a boss of fly birds, and that's the truth. I'm fired in the booth, but it's money over fame. I'm hiding from the troops, so the trap's running smooth. A night selling loose, when they ask me what I'm one, I say the Cali got me through, I say the Cali put me on. It took my belly off, they want to push my button, so I burst my strally off. But when I'm sitting down, nobody put my family on. I fuck the baddest bitches, nigga, she a stallion. I took risks to get rich. No days off, it's been shift after shift, and you cannot shift. So much weed, and never smoked a spliff. So much calls, and nothing's getting missed. I'm trying to flourish in my prime. It's money on my time. I hustle and I grind till the struggle was a knife. Even though I'm on the trap, need some money off my rhymes. When niggas changed up, it's funny all the time. Yeah, I already know we see niggas change up a lot over these years before. We're still out here trying to get chasing dreams, you know, on the streets. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. This is the main event of the evening. This is brought to you by Wicked and Bad. This bout is set at 48 kilograms and will be contested over six two-minute rounds. And will be for the inaugural Wicked and Bad World Championship. Your judges are Wayne McKenna, Michael Ryan, and Joel Clayton. Without further ado, let's introduce your fighters. First, in the blue corner, this fighter weighed in at 46.1 kilograms, fighting out of Mahmoudi Jim, representing Algeria by way of France. Salim, little big man, Shabu! <laughs> And introducing his opponent in the red corner. He weighed in at 47 kilograms exactly, fighting out of boxing booth gym, representing Coventry and the United Kingdom. Give it up for Little Man! Your referee in charge, Nico Joker. Yes. Okay, we have the final instructions from Nico Joker between these two fighters. We have Little Man. We have Little Man in the red corner, Salim Shibou in the blue. Very relaxed. Made the most of that walkout as well. Really enjoying this moment. But the time for talk is over, Carl Prince. We are set. We are ready. Round one. Nice tight guard. Looking to control the centre. Salim looking to absorb maybe uh, Lookerman's inexperience. Gets some pushes on his gloves. But as soon as he opens up, he collects the right hand. And we've talked about the power of Lickleman as well. Already dug one to the body there, Carl. Yeah, very tight guard walking him down, looking to establish a jab from a southpaw stance. And nice sharp jab by, by Aiden. Followed up with a, a straight to the body nice as well, guys. Nice and he's talking throughout, mate, yeah? One, two, another chap. I think that's his nice, nice head movement making Salim miss there. Really sharpened his skills since I last saw him over, like, over two months ago. Obviously working with the boost. Nice left hand counter, but... But Lickerman just smiles back. Smiles back indeed. And this is an interesting start from Lickerman. Very composed, bringing the power though. They see Lickerman's looking to make something miss in the first phase and, and counter. So let's not see if something picks up on that. And look at that. There's good movement, Carl. To say that this is his first fight as well for Lickerman. His eyes are wide open, Brian. He's into this fight already. It might be his first fight. He's looking to control the nail. Lands a nice right hand after And jab. again, that hurt him. Yeah. That hurt him, Carl. He's got power. He really does carry yeah. that. And again, that right hand connects. Counter back, they'll like cut out the dog in Salim. Yeah, here we go, he's from that right and hook. Pushing him back against the cage, you see. And then he gets the tight guard up there, but he knows the Lickerman's going to look to pierce it. Now, nice head movement. Catches him with the right hook. Now, big right hand. 
And that was timing, Carl. Look how much he's enjoying this moment. Little man has talked the this talk. This is his moment. He, felt he must feel like he's the strongest guy in there. You don't want to punch him out, though, getting too enjoying it, like we said before about emotion, Brian. But he looks real composed in there, little man. Experienced beyond the, his, his tender age, you know, and tender time in there. But he get, catches a left hook for his troubles there. And uh, Salim has had to eat a couple of big shots. And that might even surpri uh, surprise Little Man as well, that he's been able to take this sort of power. Yeah, I think sometimes you, you can pick up your own right hand and, and think that you just need to land one and then that'll be the fight over. Oh, nice body shot. Nice end to the round there. I'll tell you what, Brian, what a great first round. So we wondered how this was going to play out. And actually, look, looking at this, there was a lot of people thinking this was not going to be as technical as that. Both of them brought some excellent skills in that first round. I think you saw the game plan straight away. It looked like Chibu was looking to get his hands tight and, and then get forward and all that. And then obviously, look, I'm looking to lay back, throw us in the second phase and all that. But I think we're going to go to the corners. Oh, talk us through some of this action, Carl. You see, you see like, controlling the distance quite well. Look, man, he's looking to make him fall in and then go off that. I think he, I think like, quite early on, he felt like he had the power. He really looked like he was confident in his power, and they had a difference in the power. That was going to be the expansion there. But you see the fighter in Salim. You land one on him, he's going to try and land four back on you. Venom indeed in those shots from Salim. But let's give credit as well to how relaxed Lickerman is. The big question we asked is he's coming with a lot of bravado into this fight and he's actually been fairly composed. Looked like he's, he's fighting at a really efficient rate for his right, body I don't type. I can see him right now, but he's like gesturing to the crowd. He's really soaking up every moment, enjoying all parts of it. As if, like what we alluded to in the pre-show, in the pre -show, you know, I think people are just born to be on certain arenas and in certain venues and he's fashioned the way to get where he needed to be all along for a, an indirect route. But here he is and he's soaking up every little second of it. And that's where fighting under the these rule sets there's actually 90 seconds in between rounds as well Carl so I mean that's that's massive isn't it that really especially when they're fighting at this pace they've got a lot of time to recover yeah recover digest what's occurred maybe change the plan a little bit with the coaches and all that so I think about ready for the second round Brian rounds two scheduled for six two minute rounds no touch of the gloves but no. away we go and Short what, little right uppercut. And what, right was, what would you look from from uh, Salim to changing this? Maybe bring this pressure that he's doing at the start of the second round. Yeah, I think that he's got to he's got to feint a little bit more, draw Lickerman out, and then catch him in the second phase. See, Lickerman's trying to make him miss, and he's almost going always oh, immediately. Oh, great head movement there from Lickerman, and oh, digs the body again. A little shake of the head there, but that sometimes means it hurts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a little bravado looking to bring him on. But, See, look at man's like eyes are wide open. He's drawing out counters and making him miss. It's a real composed professional performance. Oh, oh. They go. He's still yeah. talking he's in there. He's enjoying every shot that lands in here. Salim pushing forward though as well. He's taking an, another hard right hand there, Carl. Yeah. Well, Salim game is a badge. You know he's not going anywhere for this as long as he can, can withstand these shots. But you see, he's got a bit of redness on his nose already. It's established from the straight shots by Aiden. Nothing too complicated by Aiden. Throwing straight punches and keeping the range. And he's just making Salim fall in with the, with the hooks and uppercuts and short range punches. And taking the distance away from him. Now controlling the centre. Whereas he looks at the start. Man, and Salim was really trying to control the centre and impose his game plan with the tight guard. And, and maybe perhaps tie a coming out on his gloves. But great waist movement. And a good the big hook there from uh, Little Man, but Salim just gets out of the way of that one. I like the ag angry Batman face that he keeps pulling <laughs> him as well between punches. But Salim's on his bike, he's walking him down, absorbing shots on his gloves and all that. Maybe the experience will come into play later on in the fight, Brian. But up to now, you wouldn't tell who's had three fights and who's had making their debut this far. There's a lot said in the press conference from Salim about the preparation from Little Man. They think he's been enjoying himself while training, but Bouncer has been telling me a, a lot the difference. Like he's enjoying himself now, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Salim coming with a big combination. Nice, nice work from Salim. Ten seconds left in the second round. Yeah, look at my waving on, just stream on. A little bit of a on show from both guys here. Not, not a surprise in that respect, but... Ooh, nice. Yeah, nice. Together. I would say Salim really put it together towards the back end of that round. He came into the round, the second, second part of it, you know, but... Aiden looking composed, ready to go for the next round already. He's not even got his breath up. And you talked about the evolution of uh, Salim within that round. A lot of fighting is about making those adjustments, learning while you're in there. And yep. the experience side, three fights already that uh, Salim has had 
Do you think that's coming into play now? Do you think he's reading Little Man a little bit? Yeah, I think he looked a little bit towards the second of that round that he really figured out what was occurring, you know. It's a lot of straight punches and a lot of waiting for you to fall in to throw it and like maybe to, to draw out the, the first initial count. So, yeah, I think a nice little switch of the game plan and throwing more in Flores. If you watch Little Man, he throws very little going backwards. But as he's coming forward, he's looking to engage a bit more. But his head movement on the back was very strong and obviously his gesture and, and histrionics even stronger. <laughs> Body movement, upper body movement as well. His ducks, his weaves, making those angles. But Salim's still in there. Like you said, and, the tell you what, Brian, for your first fight to actually make anybody miss once with a roll is, is insane, really. Because all the things that follow up through muscle memory, through having done it over and over, using things on your gloves and counts and stuff, and that ties you up too. So missing someone's head and, and all that is really tiring. Everyone's used to hitting a pad, hitting a bag, and it gives back. But when you're missing, skim through. Not only thinking that was embarrassing, you're getting a little bit more fatigued doing it. We see H there in the corner of Little Man. One of the things he talked about with training Little Man was at the speed of being able to pick up new skills and really take them on board. He said that that's he's got an athlete's mind, a really high IQ when you're talking about physical sports. And he's showing that tonight. Very impressive from Little Man. Round three set to go underway. Here at Wicked and Bad and Salim Shabu moving forward early. Look at this. A big combination to start with Carl. Yeah. Pushing him, pushing him out, but a little flurry. Like I said, it's all front court. Whoever's on the front foot is throwing, so I think what Salim's reinvented is just try to always go forward. You see, when, when, when everyone's having success, when they push the other guy back, so let's try to hold our feet a little bit, control the center. You see another flurry coming forward. Oh, and look at that little man covering up. Nice dig to the body, though, from Salim. But you can just see there's a, there's a big difference in power. Yeah, yeah. 100%, you see? He's He's putting it on him now, look yeah, at it. He doesn't want to punch himself out though, he took a step out, smart of him, but I think he did have him rock there a little bit. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> but you see, Brian, the, the difference in strength, yeah. Again, yeah, just a slip there or perhaps a throw down. Ju maybe a judo throw there, but uh, listen, Nico Joker will tidy it up in there between these two. If this was an MMA fight, I would favour the Englishman, yeah. There's a real big strength advantage, I believe. And again, Little Man talking as he comes forward. Oh, nice. Salim, nice dig nice to the body. Yeah. You see Salim's chin does come up a little bit as he's throwing, so that would be an opportune time for, for Aiden to probably go nice right hand, but Salim's straight back, you know, it's almost like his ego says, OK, you've got him, but I'm going to get you. You know, he's not worried about what's happened, he's only moving forward and, and throwing shots. I think this man's getting a little bit tired here now, like falling in with a big open right there, but as I said, Salim's chin is there for the taking. Oh, and, he, a good right hand. and he connects there on the beard there at Salim. Turn there, a very advanced little turn in the corner. Nice. May have a star, but you see Salim on the exit looking quite tired. And if you were to talk about who was going to be the tighter of the two, especially when we're moving into the third, fourth, fifth round, a lot of people expected Little Man to be there, but like you said, big breaths coming there from Salim Shabu. Yeah. This is a big occasion for everybody, Brian, and, and I think obviously halfway through you're getting that little bit of an adrenaline dump, who can push up from here. And we go last nice little bit of this round, halfway through. Oh, good oh, left hook there. The Little Man gets his guard tight. They both look, look and feel very strong to the body. They're not really that uh, interested in what's coming down low. A little clash of heads there as they came into that corner as well, Carl. Oh, oh, nice left hand lands again and again to the body. I think they'll stumble Little Man a little bit as coming forward. Now that was an action packed round. They really are heating up, Carl. And difficult to score. I'm not going to put you on the, uh, the, the spotlight on you, but this so far, the momentum going backwards and forwards. Yeah, I think the, look, the first round you have to give to Little Man. The second one was con like contentious, and again with the third, very close, you know. Uh, it depends what you're looking for. You're looking for guys scoring the guy in the front foot, intelligent pressure or just pressure. I'm actually looking to see if H is doubling up as a welder in the corner here. <laughs> Listen, a man of all trades, but his true passion is boxing, and he's really brought the best out of Little Man here. And now we're getting a look at the work, the handiwork of See how organised he looks, Brian. You know, even just taking punches on your gloves, it can knock you off balance, but his base is good, he's been very well taught. Again, I, I saw him on the pads about eight weeks ago, and his level was nowhere near where he's at now, so to improve so much in such a short space of time, it, it, it's testament to his training, it's testament to his athleticism. Like I said, just making people miss with head movement, that's really advanced for a novice. You know, you don't see many novices like 
roll out and counter and, and all that business. So, so it's, it, it's very impressive from both athletes so far. And there we go, we are set to move on. And that has been an action-packed early few rounds between these two. So impressed with just the focus of uh, Little Man. Really has stepped up and risen to this occasion, an occasion where a lot of the weight is on his shoulders as far as promotion. Um, people are always tuning in to either watch him win or to watch him fail, right? Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. And, he, and he's aware of that. But he's breathing and he's working, he's getting his rest, he's finding his spots and all that. It's, like you said, from both, it's a very pro professional performance. So round four set to go underway here for the first ever Wicked and Bad World Championship. Look at that face, Little Man. Stood right in the centre waiting for him. Just getting tailed down there by Nico Joker. Yeah. Looking for the referee to separate him before the fight starts. Well, here we go. And off we go. Nice. Yeah. Looking for that roll into the left hook. Great head movement once more. And and you've got to make him miss and make him pay, you know, it's good to make, to make great defence, but you've got to look to the counters off that. Great head movement, comes with the left hook just as I'm saying it. Very nice winging shots from Salim, a little bit desperate maybe. Oh, oh, a bit of footwork, yeah. isn't it? Oh! I think that was a slip, but maybe. He scored a slip. And Salim, nice though, that's... Well, body shots now, Salim coming into his own. Doesn't want to punch himself out here, feels like he's got Lookerman on the ropes, but Lookerman coming forward again. What a fight they're putting 50 on battle, here. This, mate. this is two guys leaving it all out there, Brian, and this is what we want to see. This is what everybody's paid the 4.99 for. And, and you think get... about it, Salim, a lot of people say he's just come here for a paycheck, but definitely not. He is here to try and steal the thunder of Lickleman to claim that world title. Two fighters, two competitors, only one winner, you know, and they're both very aware of that. They're leaving it all out there. Oh. One minute left in this round. Who can oh, steal? Oh, he's spanning round there with the right hook. Oh, he's hitting a big line. Yeah, we got a fight. He's got a knockdown. Oh, he's gone that a slip. But listen, that punch came. That's what turned him round. I like to see the replay on that. It didn't look like he caught him with the right hand. And obviously, wherever it was slip, he's going to obviously appeal that. It looks like the right hand was what scored the knockdown. The corner very unhappy. I think he's going to come out fast here. Elias going to move in that corner. But now he's lit a fire under Salim Shibu. Well, he, he catches a, a, a nice straight ride for his money though there. Punch for punch, toe to toe, these two are going at it. These are going to war, yeah. And I'll leave nothing in there, nothing in the chain of rooms afterwards. Good start by them. Just playing a little touch, touch, touch. Slowing the fight down a little bit here. And look at Salim pushing forward, this round brought to you by Saliba Music Group. And you can see the frustration there a little bit coming from uh, Salim. But Little Man looking composed, smile on his face. I think we're going to get a word with Bouncer now. Let's chuck it to Dave. Well, cheers, we'll Brian. I've managed to track down Bouncer. You can't keep still, mate. We're four rounds in. What have you found so far? All fighters are amazing. Oh my days, I can't believe it. They are rocking it out. Did you expect it to be this uh, this busy? I didn't expect it to be like this. This is amazing. Look for man that's just started training for like six six weeks and Salim, they look both amazing. Uh, you saw the shot from your man, Little Man. Did you think it was a knockdown? The referee did. Boy, I'm not going to be biased, you get me? I'm just going to not comment on that, but yeah, man, it was amazing. Uh, I've been following on social media throughout the fight. There is so much love for this event, for Little Man and for Salim, who's just taken a slap off his trainer in the corner there. Have you got a message for those at home who are watching? Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, God bless you all, man. And it's going to be bigger and better. And we're literally changing these two just now. Finally, who wins the fight? Why well, I'm going to throw it up in the air. I'm going to throw it up in the air, but wicked and bad entertainment. Wicked and bad entertainment. Bouncer, cheers. Enjoy the rest of the fight. Uh, Brian and Carl, back to you two. Thanks, Dave. What? A fight this has been. Yeah, we, we saw, we were lucky enough to see a replay of uh, of that knockdown as the referee scored it. And I think of him in support of that. The right hand landed, obviously, he span a little bit for himself, a bounce of a hook, so. I think they'll watch that back and realise that it's quite an easy one to score eventually. But then you, when you look at this now, it's lit a fire under so then He really has got to do something now. If he's got that knocked down against him in round four, only two rounds left, Carl. Yeah, they, 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 this is where the going gets tough, isn't it? And let's see who really wants it. You know, Atlanta, a nice big shot there. A big shot again by Lickerman. What a chin. Salim has got. Salim lands a nice left hook himself. 
moving forward. He took that really well. Just a nice straight right again. It just looks like his levers are a bit longer, don't they, Brian? You know, he's got a bit longer reach and just studying them shots in there. And he mixed that up as well. He's been throwing hooks, but that's straight right down the middle. Rock the head back of Salim Shaboob. Yeah, great setup. That is 100% his punch, and he's not thrown it for a while. So Salim pouring on it him now, though. You have to think it's Salim with all to do it. Look at that straight right. Ran it through yeah, him and now. Oh, he's knocked up the fight out of him. Another right hand. Yeah, oh, no left, left straight and another one. He's put him back. Really is rising to the occasion. The command. What a combination that was. Trapped Salim in the corner. Oh, no, that hand. Right Stick him up that one. That one hurt him. And that one hurt him, but he's, he's knocked up the fight out of him. Nico Joker keeping a, a, a big eye on this, making sure Salim is still in there. Yeah, really enjoying it, here we go. 40 seconds left to These guys five. are really, their stars, stars are shining here, Brian. What a, what a performance by both these competitors. This is all the talk about this, not, this fight not living up to the hype. That can all be put to bed, oh! So he's down there, but referee just takes his slip, but he looks a little bit rough there to me. Oh, no. Salim, 20 seconds remaining in this round. Yeah, another right hand lands, but just rock and suck and robots at the moment. Rock and suck and robots. Oh, and that right hand is back. a difference, Carl. Right, right again. There. Oh, he's out of his feet. And again. Little man looking and again. to fit. Oh, that is it. No, he's doing a standing count. Oh. There we go, little man. He can smell blood. This round was sponsored oh. by Play Dirty. That's the end of the round, Brian. What a great end to end. What a finish there. Absolutely brilliant flurry there from Lickleman. I thought Nico Joker was stepping in to stop it, but he's giving him a standing count. Yeah. And look what that means to Lickleman. In a war of attrition, you know, the power did come through. I thought the power would die out after the first three rounds, but I couldn't be further from the truth. I think, you know, in the fifth round of his debut, to be able to land concussive blows like that over and over, that is testament to his training, testament to his preparation, testament to his dedication. I think if anyone's at the couch, at home thinking their lives are going the wrong way throw yourself into combat sports throw yourself into boxing get yourself to the gym prove to everybody all the things you say in your head that you can do it look a man's proving it to the whole world tonight and now tomorrow monday wherever the first time you get into the boxing gym it's your chance your chance to turn your life around your chance to change something look a man's putting on a clinic tonight and showing everybody what you can achieve with dedication absolutely could not have said it better and this work this back and forth between the two sums it up that right hand kept connecting and this is the combination at the end of the round. Just a flurry of right hands, you know, and, and obviously I think saved by the bell a little bit there, and five right hands just thrown there, and then the bell to end the round. You see where he's stumbling off there, arguing, arguing the, with the eight count, but really doing a bit of a chicken dance as he's doing it. So we are set for our final round, round number six here at the Wicked and Bad inaugural tournament. My goodness, what a battle this has been. Two minutes, two minutes left for these men to claim that world championship so far it's pretty much been one-way traffic little man bringing the power but salim has got two minutes to try and turn this round car yeah from the fourth round you know little man really steps on the gas he's finding a home for that right hand and look and, and salim not really got an answer for it he probably needs a stoppage now to to win this fight oh and still the power he's just getting no respect for his punches from little man i from yeah, salim for him yeah little oh. man's maybe a little body shot here will finish the battle but left oh, up the okay. referee waves off the bell, Brian, that is it. it. What a moment, Little Man takes the world championship, takes the victory, answers all the haters. My goodness, Carl, what a fight. What a fight indeed, Brian. Really, really well deserved. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I thought Little Man with the guy that would die off to, between the fourth and sixth round, and quite the opposite was happened. His power wore down, Shaboob. He was, he was looking visibly upset. You know, a big shame from him. He's left it all in there. Those first three rounds was very, 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 very competitive. But just the power shone through in the end, and the death by a thousand cuts at the end. And Little Man reaping the rewards of such a great performance. Fantastic stuff. And there's his handheld eye. The culmination of all that hard work. A nice bit of sportsmanship there. That's, that's what we want to see, Brian. All the pushing and shoving behind, but they've got each other's respect tonight. And I tell you what, look, man, has got the world's respect with that right hand. Drop you like a box seat. And now, do you believe us? You said at the very beginning of this, this is, it felt like a special event from the very beginning, but it was up to the two men in the ring to prove
proves to the world that they were serious contenders, and that was a serious performance of both men, really. Yeah, but for the first three rounds, they were very competitive. I probably had the same edge in the second and third round, obviously. And then from there, just because it really poured it on from there, Aiden, the fourth and fifth and the sixth round, it is excess power really shone through, and, and that was the, the finishing point of the fight. We're going to look where the referee stepped in here. Salim going out on his shield, swinging for the fences, but just too much straight shot, too much power here, and and thankfully the referee steps in. I didn't want to see any more. What a great contest from both these guys, Dave. Absolutely fantastic, and what a debut for Little Man. I've been keeping my eye on social media throughout the bout. There has been so much support for both men, so much support for the event. And, and I heard you talking about the positives that combat sports can have on your life. This is evidence of that. I mean, very often it sounds like hyperbole when we say history in the making, but that's what this has been. Positive messaging from the very beginning. How can you not be inspired by this? You know, I've been around uh, the sport for like 15 years or so, and, and, and that this is the first of the, of the kind that I've seen itself, and I'm inspired by it. You know, I, I'm inspired by these guys and their backstories, and Salim living in the gym for six weeks, and, and Rags to Riches story that, 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 that obviously the Lickerman brings wherever he goes, and a richly deserved like, output of performance. And what a great event! Absolutely. We'll be going to the middle for the official results very shortly. Um, a word about that man on the screen. Incredibly brave performance from him. Yeah, a little in stature, but perhaps the biggest heart. I think his whole body is a heart. You know, um, he has. He, he only came to win. He's a big competitor. He's really upset with the loss, you know. So you got to feel for him. He left it all out in there. But like I said, what he lacks in stature, he makes up for in heart. And hats off to Salim, mate. Well, you can see how devastated he is. But that's a nice moment between those two men. All the beef has been put aside. Yeah. They did the job they had to. They sold the fight. And they but got now... each other's respect, mate, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, they got each other's respect with some left and rights. And sadly for Salim, one good night. Absolute devastation for that man. He came here to win. But he will not be leaving as the wicked and bad world champion. That is a belt that will belong to Little Man. And forget about the power, that man showed us that he could box tonight. Yeah, <laughs> composure, like everything that I didn't expect, you know. He, he's no, no, an oxymoron no, 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 walking no, no, around Little Man. He's uh, he, uh, what a performance. He, I'm, I almost lost the words. Really. I thought that he was going to get tired and all that business. But he did the opposite. He came on in the championship rounds. What a performance. We're going to go to Brian for the official. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fight between these absolute warriors. But your referee called a stop to the action at 25 seconds of round number six. Your winner by way of knockout and new world champion, Lickleman! moment for Little Man as he exits the ring with that world championship belt, exactly what he came for. He talked the talk and he backed it up with a fantastic performance. Do stick with us wherever you're watching around the world because we will be hearing certainly from Little Man, hopefully from Shibub as well. As he wipes off more tears because that is absolutely devastating for him. Still has the Algerian flag there on the ropes. But Brian's going to be making his way over there to try and hear from both Little Man and Shaboob as well. He's already started talking, Little Man, behind us. Of course he has. Wait till he gets a microphone in his face. He was confident enough before the fight. Imagine what we're going to hear from him after he's won. But now we're going to have a look at some of the best bits of a fantastic performance that culminated with a world championship belt around the shoulders of Little Man. So this is the very beginning of the fight, Carl. What were your first impressions in round one? Yeah, uh, this is the fourth round, I believe. And then at, at the first knockdown of the fight, I, my impressions are, I was really impressed by both guys' base. They never walked over the feet. They were, they were always in a good stance, at absorbing punches, you know. Only really when they threw uh, big, big, big whirling hooks did they fall off balance. And the guys with such limited experience, it was really, really impressive. And Little Man's right. I just found a home for that straight right. I like the way he mixed up in the second and third, didn't throw many straight punches, and then brought them back in from the fourth onwards and, and really bear the fruits of that moving forward. 
Well, that knockdown came at a good time for Little Man, didn't it? Because that was when Salim was just starting to get a foothold in the fight. Yeah, he, he just spun him round, didn't he? Almost with a right hook, and then he dropped him with the right hand, and, and they disputed the first knockdown. And perhaps there's a little bit of controversy in it, but I don't believe so. He looked like a right hand that dropped him, but there can be no arguments about the, 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 the knockdowns that were following. Absolutely not. And look, and look at the what team it means there, at the yeah. end. There is not a release of ecstasy in the body I'll like to that that he'll have experienced there. He'll have never experienced it before, and it'll be quite hard to top it, your very first victory. Yeah.